The areas in blue form from ectoderm. That includes the enamel, which comes from the external skin ectoderm. The inside of the tooth, the red area, which makes up the dentin and the pulp of the tooth and the surrounding bone, comes from the mesoderm or middle. Here are the layers we mentioned in a developing blastula. The blue area, the outside area, forms ectodermal tissue, which includes the enamel. The red area, in our case of interest, will develop the nerve, the dentin, and the surrounding bone. The green area is not of relevance to us in this discussion that will form the internal lining of the digestive tract. This schematic illustration tries to show the development of the upper arch, the maxilla, and the lower arch, the mandible, from the brachial arches in the early development of the fetus. Cells from the neural crest, the blue circled dots along the back of the black neural tube migrate down and give instructions to the brachial arches which include instructions for developing the various teeth of the upper and lower arch. Here is another view of the developing fetus in which we see in blue the light blue being the maxilla development, the upper jaw, and the darker blue being the development of the lower jaw, both of these arches, upper and lower, being developments from the brachial gills of the early fetus. This is a view into the mouth of the developing fetus. The same fetus we saw from the side before, now we're looking into the mouth. The light blue being the two aspects of the maxillary arch which have not yet come together and will fuse at a later time. The darker blue being the development of the lower jaw, the mandible. This is a cross-sectional view of the developing upper or lower jaw. The cells of the ectoderm, the skin, bling the layers in light blue. The darker blue layers that are beginning to bud down are going to begin to form the various forms of the teeth of the child and of the adult. As the ectodermal cells bud down, they begin to form the shape that will guide the development of the enamel of the tooth. That's the cells in blue the light blue circles being the cells that will form the enamel, and the red illustrating the inside of the tooth, the mesenchymal cells from the middle layer that will form the dentin and the pulp of the tooth as well as the surrounding bone. Here we are at a later stage, sometimes called the bell stage, in which we have further development of the enamel in this case it looks like a molar, with the surrounding dentin lining the inside of the tooth which will end up closing to form the pulp of the This is a closer view starting from the top. The dark blue cells are those cells which lay down the crystalline inorganic, primarily inorganic layer of the enamel. Below that the dentin which is made of microtubules. Below that, the darker red are the cells which form and lay down the dentin. And then within inside the developing pulp, we see the vasculature and the nerves that will form. This is a scanning electron micrograph of the enamel showing its inorganic crystalline prismatic structure. In this case, the enamel has been etched with a 
acidic solution which decalcifies a portion of the enamel so that we as dentists in clinical practice can bond our restorations to the enamel in a strong but in addition to the enamel we have the internal structure which we mentioned comes from the mesenchyme this is a more organic moist dentin material with microtubules within the dentin this scanning electron microscope shows these tubules the reason they are of interest to us in clinical dentistry is that there are techniques with chemicals today to bond to this structure. It's a different principle of bonding than it is to enamel, but we're able successfully today to get bonding to this tissue to help with the retention of our minimally invasive restorations. And then briefly here we have the development of the primary and permanent dentition the teeth, primary teeth being shown in a light blue color, the enamel in a light blue color, the permanent teeth being shown in a darker blue color with the roots being shown in red.